exclusive video for you tonight of a dangerous fire hazard. Thousands and thousands of e-scooters and lithium ion batteries dumped from Ohio and out of state. Investigator Sarah Goldenberg was there as the company started packing up. We watched them moving e-scooters and batteries off the property. Electric scooters pack this Cleveland warehouse as far as the eye can see. Lithium ion batteries stacked high in cardboard boxes. These two pictures are yeah. the ones that I wow. looked at and I'm like, you have got to be kidding me. 19 investigates learned Mayor Justin Bibbs administration shut this down, taking the owner of Spin e-scooters to court, calling out the dangers of storing lithium ion batteries without a permit or license. We spoke with Cleveland's law director, Mark Griffin. The clock is ticking. They need to move and we cannot be a dumping ground. As long as Mayor Bibb is mayor of the city of Cleveland and I'm the law director, Cleveland is not gonna be a dumping ground for anything. 19 Investigates just reported last week these rechargeable batteries used in everything from cell phones to e-scooters and e-bikes can spark deadly fires like this one that spread from an e-bike shop in New York City. In this warehouse at East 42nd Street and Lakeside Avenue in Cleveland, fire officials found the fire system reading trouble in system. They also discovered chemicals in the building. Captain Dave Talban, Cleveland's fire marshal, tells us fires with lithium ion batteries can be harder to fight and even spark again weeks later. When you have 8,000 of those in the building, that can be devastating to the point where it could have taken out blocks. We learned the city first sent a cease and desist to Skinny Labs, which operates Spin e-scooters back in March. But five months later, nothing changed. So the city just filed a lawsuit seeking a temporary restraining order to prevent a possible fire emergency. And that's not all. 19 Investigates was the first to learn e-scooter and e-bike companies will now be under the microscope here as they ramp up inspections across Cleveland. I think that our action has finally made a difference. We're seeing that they're moving them out today. And, you know, if you don't force these out-of-state companies to act, they won't. Under the agreement, all batteries and e-scooters must be removed within 30 days, and the company must immediately set up a fire watch until that happens. They've been told to recycle as many batteries as possible, and the company must also document that they haven't moved these e-scooters or batteries to another location in the city. Reporting from 42nd and Lakeside Avenue, Sarah Goldenberg, 19 News. Well, the city law director says if the e-scooter company does not comply, they'll go back to court and ask for a contempt order and may even seize the property. We reached out to SPIN, headquartered in San Francisco. We have not yet heard back.